hey friends welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be trying this really simple wash day routine that i saw on chick naturals youtube channel when i saw it i was like wow i need to try this anything to kind of like shorten my wash day so there were a few iterations here and there to sit my, suit my hair needs so if you have my type of dense hair this might be what you need so you can see in the video she started by saturating her whole hair with water normally i do wash my hair in sections because of my hair density but because we are following this routine to the to the very little detail i decided okay that i'm going to try and shampoo my head without washing it in you know without doing that in sections like i would normally do so this was here this was where it got interesting i just realized quickly that it's not going to be working for me because if i do that i'm going to end up with a lot of tangles and we are following the routine which means that normally i detangle my hair before i wash so i wasn't able to do that because i wanted to follow the routine so you can see that i ended up splitting my hair into four sections to suit my hair needs because if you look if you have a closer look my hair is slightly denser than her hair so I had to just divide my hair into four sections to avoid that from happening so i went in with the shampoo and of course i proceeded to shampoo as you would normally do um focus on your scalp and also you know get that into your hair I also went in with a scalp massager um, if you watch my channel you know that I always use a scalp massager while washing my scalp and like she did to it just basically helps to like lift all the gunk and dead skin cells on you know your scalp so that's exactly what I did the next thing that she did was to divide her hair into four sections and then use a conditioner so my hair was already in four sections from the shampoo process so i just you know applied a conditioner to each section of the hair and i went in with a powder brush i always recommend using powder brushes to detangle natural hair in my opinion for my 4c hair it just gets the dub so well like that's the best detangling tool for me in all my years of being natural so as you can see i am detangling my hair and i'm starting from the ends of my hair and gradually moving up to the roots right but this is where i encountered a problem right the four sections were just too much for me right because of the density of my hair like i said earlier normally when i'm detangling detangling my hair that like section i'm detangling right now i'll probably have to divide it into three more sections or two more sections just to make sure that i detangle my hair properly so at this point i was like you know what i don't feel like doing it in just one section would really get my hair detangled so i split it into two and if you look at it very well now you see that it's way more easier like um now thoroughly detangling my natural hair so yeah i didn't detangle in four sections like she did i ended up detangling in total of um eight sections because for each section i had to split it into two to make sure that i thoroughly detangle my hair As you can see, after she's done detangling a section, she puts it in like, she puts all her hair in four ponies and according to her, the essence of doing that is to keep the roots really flat and also help in stretching your hair. So <laughs> that didn't really work for me. If you notice, I was really struggling because not only were my roots not flat, my roots were very, very puffy. So that was where I was like, no, 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 no. We're going to have to take this down and figure out a way to go around this because it was clearly not working for my hair um, and I think it's because you know for each section there were much more hair on each section of my hair than hers so for the purpose of this video i really wanted to stick to our routine so what i did was i took off the band and i retied my hair again in a bit to try as much as possible to keep my roots flat and it, it got better but you could still feel that compared to hers my roots were 
a bit puffy so i did the same thing for other sections of my hair i applied um, the conditioner and I detangled I split it into more, two more sections to help me detangle each section properly and then I went ahead with the band put it in a pony as much as I could to make sure that the roots were flat as much as I could and then put that into a braid just like she did okay my friend so here we are i was done you know with detangling and putting them in you know um the sections and the little braids i was a bit concerned because my roots were very very um you know they were not flat and i was also concerned with the fact that if i leave it like this my roots are going to get puffy and my hair will start matting up because my hair tends to mat up from the roots but anyways i went ahead to rinse it off like rinse off the conditioner like she did in the video and you notice that i'm loosening up the braids right this was where i realized that because the sections were too big um i the water wasn't really getting off the conditioner from my hair as much as i wanted it to and i hate it when after washing my hair and when i now use a towel to kind of like towel dry it i realize that some of the products are still left in my hair so i like to when i'm rinsing off conditioner or deep conditioner for example from my hair i like to make sure my hair is in a loose state so that all the products get off my hair because you know i'm washing my hair because i don't want to want to have any products in it so i had to loosen each section make sure that water runs through it thoroughly then braid it back and then use the band to secure the roots of my hair i noticed that doing the doing it this way made it easier for me to you know get the roots to be as flat as i could so yeah this is what we're looking like after we have shampooed conditioned and put it in the four ponies just like she did This was the amount of hair that I shared, quite big compared to hers. Anyways, the next day I was so curious to see how my roots were faring and overall feel of my hair. My roots definitely puffed up. I saw that coming, you know, because they weren't as flat as hers was in the video and it's because my sections were large and, you know, we're trying to follow the routine. So when I loosened up the braids, um, my hair didn't really feel moisturized because I'm used to like straight out of the shower using a leave-in and an oil to moisturize and seal, but we are following the routine, right? So as you can see, she took some oil and she applied it to her hair. So of course I divided that section into more sections to make sure that the oil gets to every section in that section you get what i mean right so that's what i'm doing applying the oil all over my hair and making sure to get it on each section so i took the paddle brush and started brushing and i was like nah my hair felt dry right remember that we just came out of the shower and i didn't moisturize so my hair felt dry and this was where i like i was like no i just have to use a leave-in conditioner because i need that moisture back into my hair so i ended up doing the oc method which is just oil and conditioner i applied a bit of oil like you saw earlier and then i went in with the conditioner and my hair felt instantly better right so i just applied the conditioner from the ends to the roots like you would normally do and then went in with my paddle brush and it detangled way way easier than it did when i just used only the oil So she did not include this step, but I had to moisturize my scalp because y'all, I, I don't know, my scalp care is very, very serious to me. So I just took in my favorite scalp care product and applied it to my scalp and massaged it in and I felt instantly better because I was feeling this satin dryness on my scalp. You know, shampoos really 
I don't like that aftermath dryness of shampoos on my scalp so I like to really moisturize my scalp after you know doing my wash day it, it helps my scalp a lot I went ahead to do the same thing that I've realized that was working for me um, apply the oil to each section in the in a section because i had to divide my hair into more sections and apply the leave-in conditioner detangle with the paddle brush and then you know each section i'm done with i put it in a twist so it doesn't get mixed up with the other sections of my hair i haven't moisturized and detangled this was what my hair was looking like afterwards i you know as you can see i couldn't like run my fingers through just like she ran hers through and i don't have a problem with that because i noticed her my hair texture is a bit tighter than hers and trust me my hair was fully detangled here and the thing i've noticed about my fussy hair is as i detangle it and put it in a section it helps my hair not to tangle immediately so i was cool with that in summary, will I be trying this too easy wash day routine more often? The answer for me is yes and a no. Yes, because, you know, I like the way my hair feels right now. Normally after wash days, my hair is usually very way more shrunken than this, but um, my hair feels a bit stretched and I can easily like, if I want to install a protective style, it's way easy for me. So like on days I want to install a protective style, I might try this out. But if I'm going to try it out, this is where why I said no. So if I want to incorporate this into my routine, there are definitely some things that I'll have to do to adjust to the density of my hair. And I noticed that my hair is of more tighter dex texture than that of Chic Natural. So what I will be doing is um, in the shower, instead of dividing my hair into four sections, I'll definitely be dividing it into six more sections. That way it is easier for me to um, detangle with the conditioner without me feeling like I'm detangling a whole lot of section you know for my hair because I have really dense hair. Another thing that I would do differently with this routine so that it would fit my hair needs and what my hair likes is of course to stick to detangling before entering the shower so normally I detangle my hair before I shampoo it but I just went into the shower because I was trying to follow the routine um, verbatim I went into the shower and I started shampooing and that made me stand in the shower for so long y'all I am not exaggerating it took me I was in that shower for over an hour and a half and my legs we are so sore so I'm definitely if I'm going to be trying this next time I will detangle my hair before I go in and shampoo so that even if I am now putting the conditioner there is no much detangling work to do it will be easy for me to detangle and less than 10 minutes I am done with the six sections of my hair so yeah if your hair is very very close to mine in, um, in terms of like texture density um, I think you might get the same experience that I did when you try this routine but of course I'm a huge fan of trying you know new stuff on your hair as much as you can and if it works for you you stick to it if it doesn't work you of course use the routine that works for you remember the best routine is the routine that works for your hair so I want to hear your thoughts on this have you tried this method before um, do you love it does it make wash day easy for you would you say that factors like um, how tight or loser your hair texture is um, made the routine longer or shorter for you as well as the density of your hair i feel like people with fine hair would really enjoy this routine because it will be easy breezy for them so i'd love to read your comments and your thoughts on this and see um also learn from you what routines that you are using on your natural hair that you are thoroughly enjoying that makes wash day easy and prevents you from spending so much time in the bathroom okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe when you do 
tap the bell beside the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I have an ebook for you. Um, it is 40 things I wish someone told me before I transitioned to natural hair. It's definitely a good read and one filled with so many lessons that I've learned in my natural hair journey surrounding the common mistakes that we mostly make with natural hair care. I'll have that linked in the description box. Do uh, make sure to check it out. You will find extreme value in it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.